always fun to come back to the, the state of Michigan. I, I really enjoy it. I grew up such a big Bad Boys Detroit Pistons fan, you know? So it's, it's funny how the world comes full circle. I'm on the other side now, right. and I'm on the other bench, and I'm for the other team this time <laughs> around. So you grew up right outside of, of Kalamazoo. You grew up a sports fan, but did you play sports? I, well, yeah, I did. Uh, everything on the list, I really gravitated always towards basketball and soccer and, um, and played those two sports in high school, was able actually to play those two sports at Northwestern. And I thought, you know what, I really have to kind of start figuring out what I'm going to do um, instead of playing professional sports for the rest of my life. And, and I didn't want to lose sports. Right in my life. And so I thought, you know what, maybe I could go into coaching. Uh, broadcasting appealed to me. And so I, I went down that road, went down that route, and the rest is history. Well, I want to circle back to you said that you were a huge fan of the bad boys. Who is, who is your guy? Joe Dumars, Isaiah Tom. I mean, all, all, all the favorites, the right? Um, I actually had the opportunity to work um, summer league in Las Vegas this summer. Okay. And the analyst who I worked with was Isaiah Thomas. And so when you talk about like a full circle moment, right. he asked me on the air, Lisa, who was your team growing up? And so I said, you. Well, <laughs> Isaiah. <laughs> I said, you. And, uh, and so we had fun with it. I said, but I was a little bit screwed up because I love the bad boys, but yet my bedroom was full of Michael Jordan posters from like Florida oh. ceiling. He said, Lisa, that's okay. My son had MJ posters in his bedroom <laughs> too. <laughs> you take a look at your resume. We could go on and on about, you know, your experience, but how did we, how did you get here? You know, I think it's a lot of hard work. And, and I think the thing that I want to get across to people is I just, I just didn't roll out of bed one day and say, I want to call the Olympics, or I think I'll be an NBA announcer today. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a lot of hard work, yeah. you know? And um, I always say, you know, you have to work the grunt job to get the glory job. And, and sometimes the space in between that grunt job and the glory job is maybe a year, five years, 10 years. For me, it was over a decade. I can remember uh, one of my second jobs in TV was in Lansing, Michigan. And I was, you know, it was one of those nights where you're kind of toiling away and you're editing your own stuff. Oh, and I, I didn't walk out <laughs> until 2 a.m. It was probably like a February winter morning. <laughs> and so it's really cold. You're walking out, your car's covered in snow. And I'm sitting there thinking like, is this worth it? Does anybody care? And I had to stop myself to remind myself, Lisa, you care. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the most important person who cares. And, um, and stop thinking about what's next. Stop thinking about what you're not getting. Right. And enjoy where your feet are right now. Well, looking back, was it worth it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Get to wear this great sweatshirt and, and call an you NBA might. game in uh, my former home state. <laughs>